Hello Virgo! Welcome to your November 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. There's a couple of things before we go into your readings, Virgos, um, that are important to just mention up front. Um, number one is November is the 11th month. And 11 is a master number. Same double digit number, 11 is the strongest. All the other numbers that we have <laughs> are a bit sort of watered down, even though they get higher. And when it comes to numerology, where that whole energy idea stems from, only 11 and 22 are seen as master numbers because only they would fit into a calendar. In any case, uh, an, an extra strong energy, 11, is what will aid all star signs, including yours, for the entire month. So you will very likely find yourself having much more drive, uh, much more interest in, in, in doing things, which is what the number 11 affords us at all, and especially now you, because we're looking at Virgo. Now remember, Virgo is the sign of the maiden, and the maiden doesn't give in under stress. So the first thing uh, I can literally see here for you is to remember that you know you can handle stress rather well and therefore use the energy of the months of 11 um, to also claim whatever it is you want to have changed or want to achieve so the, the, the month is quite powerful because of the number 11. secondly there is a bit of a downer um, when the full moon shows up because this full moon in November is also going to be a lunar eclipse. And um, the lunar eclipse can bring out the worst uh, in all of us, but there is a dedicated video um, for uh, or about that full moon in the description box. Not in the description box, on the channel. What am I talking about? Right? Anyway, so I would suggest that you look at this video um, after you've done here. Now we're looking at three different things to get into your reading. We look at the overall energy for the sign of Virgo for the month of November 2022. Before we then go into your emotional core, see what can, uh, if there's healing that can go, um, or that can happen, or trauma that can go, and maybe whatever the guides have to say about love, that kind of thing. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of November 2022 for the sign of Virgo. So let's have a look. Over energy is the Puma. So I don't know if you can see this here. It's quite a beautiful depiction. Anyway, the message for Virgos is that the Puma is also known as the mountain lion. And therefore you 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 might act differently in different places, or you might act the same, but people see you differently. The point I'm making is here that the puma is an elusive animal and oftentimes seeks a vantage point from which to actually assess life. And people will have opinions uh, about you <laughs> simply because your depiction here is the puma slash the mountain lion. And then, you know, as always, let them. Right? Other people's opinions are none of your business. Truth needs no defense. Pay no attention to people who have opinions. It's just opinions. Okay? So that's the first message to hear for the overall energy is to be is to understand how how valuable you are, especially when you when you just look at, at your stuff. Right? Really, really important. Anyway, that was the overall energy for the month of November. Sort of short and sweet. And now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's see what we got. Well, for the emotions, you have the deer, which is actually surprising. In as far as November has this extra oomph energy, um, but with regards to healing, and I'm not getting this about anything else. This is about uh, for Virgos, this is all about, you know, letting stuff go that sits inside you that is no longer needed, if that makes sense, and maybe stuff that you find difficult to shift. What the guides are saying to you is, literally, is to 
step back from everything that has to do with your with your emotions that sounds a bit weird that doesn't mean you should step back from your emotions you allow yourself allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel but don't ask yourself all these questions like oh was it my fault was it theirs why is this always happening to me right <laughs> and you can see i have this slight slight mocking uh, noise and i'm not knocking it but you need to understand this you can ask yourself these questions all day long and all they do is lower your vibrations because there aren't any answers and it is pointless to 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 reflect on whether or not it was your fault because that is not something that you will be able to answer so easily and and also the energy doesn't doesn't need it the deer is saying to you you function best at sunrise and sunset which is symbolism so go with the flow when it comes to your emotions right um, remove yourself a little bit um, rest a lot and make sure that whatever it is you're trying to express that comes that has to do with how you feel um, don't do it under pressure so what that means is what doesn't really what will not work likely for you this month is to sit someone down or have a conversation that is planned where you kind of go okay we're tackling this now because your energy is much more vulnerable so you just should you, you should just leave that more or less to chance when you feel like yeah, now is a good time to say something right really really important because the deer can easily be spooked and therefore there's a vulnerability to your emotional center this very months okay so lastly let's have a look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of november and your opportunities are the coyote And what that means, my dear Virgos, is that the, co the coyote, for the most part, is a scavenger. And what that means is that when it comes to opportunities, they will come to you. The coyote knows wherever I go, something will show up. <laughs> so, in other words, what I'm getting for you is, if you're thinking about, oh, well, there's an opening here, maybe I should, that is not energy that is, that is supported this month um, you can't really plan stuff um, when when the coyote is your depiction this is more about you know what there will always be enough for me to go around and also it feels therefore like you have to be wanted you have to be acknowledged where whatever it is you're doing uh, uh, for a living if that makes sense whatever sustains you you have to do this with, with the integrity that you possess don't change because other people would like you to do things in a different way right really really important the coyote is not worried too much about survival because he's a scavenger has a very good nose he'll find stuff okay so therefore right you can you can put your feelers out by all means but if you have to compete numerous times if you have to um you know if it's like oh there's only let's just say you're self-employed and, and you're doing treatments and you say like okay well there's one room and five people want it and i want to get in that is not energy that you need to have at all if that room isn't for you another room will show up so the point is i'm getting this strongly is for you not to be too competitive this isn't about having the best cv this is about you understanding Wherever I go, people should be fortunate or should feel fortunate to have me. And that is the difference in, in behavior. And it's not ego to understand that you have skills and that you have not, uh, um, you know, you haven't, you haven't been sitting under a rock for the last 30 years. You know, you know your stuff. Um, and um, while you can highlight it, the moment you're trying to sell yourself, not really what you need to do okie dokie that's all we got time for like i said please 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 watch the november 2022 full moon reading on this very channel and um, while you're doing this you might as well like to subscribe in any case that was all we got for november see you next month bye bye